All right, howdy folks. Justin here again with another Lego build for you. Uh, today I'm going to be building the, be building this. I'm going to be building the this. The Lego Disney set uh, 41164, the Enchanted Treehouse. It has 302 pieces. And uh, yeah, it's got a bunch of stuff that I can uh, use in, uh, you know, box. Like, uh, I don't have any foliage this color. So, oh, I just noticed. There's actually two different colors of foliage in this. Cool. <laughs> but yeah. All right. Let's get to sorting and then building. This does have thumb punches, but as you know, I don't use those. So, give me a moment to get this opened. Oh, this one opens. This is opening up so much easier than some of these others have. I mean, the Resistance A-Wing Starfighter, that box just did not want to pop open. That did not want to open at all. Thankfully, this one, much easier. Alright. Box is empty now. And we have the instructions with a sticker sheet. We have the base plate. Oh, this is a new piece. I don't have any pieces like this. That's cool. Bag one, bag three, and bag two. All right. So let's get the instructions open. And I really need to remember to do this more often. I haven't. Oh, two sticker sheets. Okay. I haven't been doing the product feedback stuff. Because, I mean, I haven't gotten anything yet. But there's always a chance that I can. Yeah, if you didn't know, if you uh, do this little product feedback stuff on the back here, uh, there's a chance that, you, that they'll send you a set. Go. I had to find the right end to open. Whoa. This is a new piece. This is part of the tree. That's interesting. New to me. You know what it is. This is probably a cloak for Anna. So what's new and exciting in y'all's world? I, uh, eh, not much for me, really. So, pretty much the same old, same old. I, I figure this is going to be an extra piece. That's new to me. 
this little candle flame. So. That's interesting. Like that. Okay. You there and y'all there. Okay. Alright. First bag. Sorted. Look for Anna. Anna, Princess of Arendelle. I would really like to get the Arendelle Castle. I just haven't found it uh, on sale yet. So I want it, but not to pay full price. Here we have Olaf. Alright, start off with these. These. It's so nice when I can actually upgrade my setup here so that I can uh, download the instructions and you know have another screen that I can digitally build yeah, build off of. That would be so nice. Someday. Someday, little bunny burrow being built. The mystical woodland creatures, or you know, the mundane woodland creatures, however they may be. show it to you. There's this tiny little tree. Got a couple, couple little bunnies. Those are new pieces to me. So. Alright. Now for the big part. And yes, I'm trying to build where you can actually see what I'm doing as opposed to so often I'm over here holding this holding this set up where you can't see it and you just see it as occasionally as I lower my arms but yeah I'm trying to actually let you guys see what I'm doing because you know that's what you're here for you're here to see the sets and I understand that a lot of y'all just fast forward to the end take a look at what's been built and I'm okay with that I'd prefer if you watch the entire video but you know your time is valuable if you if you have better things to do than watch me build a set that's perfectly fine I'm okay with that you do you I'm gonna do me so what I 
do know that I enjoy this. I enjoy this the way that I'm doing things. So I'm going to keep building. And eventually, I will be building a mock. Yes, I know, you've heard me say that many times before. When's it going to happen, Justin? Well, it's going to happen. I just need to get to it. And, about to have our first sticker application. Sticker number 16. Which direction are those facing? Those are facing down. Alright. Got ourselves a little bed. should watch Frozen 2 again because I don't remember the name of the people that they find. So, I unfortunately don't recall the name of those people. Bed, bedside lamp. That is sparkly. Wow. That is actually hard to, to determine where the sticker actually starts. Oh boy. I don't suppose it really matters 100% exactly how it goes on here. So, that'd be. Shows it being a little, little more like this as opposed to like this, but eh, this, this is what you get from me. Right, sticker 15. 15's not on here. 15's on this one. Ah, a little lizard. Spoiler, there's a little lizard in this movie if you haven't seen it. But if you haven't seen this movie, I recommend it. It's good. I enjoyed it. Oh, another thing that I recommend watching, if you have access to it, uh, Doom Patrol on HBO Max. All the stuff that was, uh, well, not all, Titans isn't on there. I'm a little annoyed by that, but uh, regardless, the uh, the DC Universe show Doom Patrol, based on the comic Doom Patrol, uh, is on. HBO Max, and I've uh, I've been watching that. It's it's a good show. It is definitely very trippy, but that's what it's supposed to be. The uh, series, the the comics, very trippy. So it's only natural that the show be very trippy. Enjoying in bed, enjoying. I am enjoying my watch of the series. I'm into season two, so 
an Alan Tudyk wash from Firefly. His role is awesome. I'm not going to say who he is. I'm not going to say anything more than that. Just that his role is awesome. He is so hilarious. It is wrong at how hilarious he is. Which is not a surprise at how hilarious he is. I mean, he's Alan Tudyk. Wash. You know, curse your sudden but, ine but inevitable betrayal. So, it, it's, it's a great show. I highly enjoy it. If you haven't read the comics, oh, I, I so recommend going to read the comics. They are so, so good. And they are actually in the DC Comics universe. You know, there's uh, they they exist in the same reality as Batman and Superman and Wonder Woman and the Flash and Cyborg. Oh, Green Lantern, Lex Luthor. Hey, Mister Luthor. What is it, Otis? <laughs> Alright, time for another bed to get put together. Oh, and this one actually is going to have two stickers. Hold on, let me go back and double check and make sure that one didn't have two stickers. Because I wasn't... Okay, just the one. Alright. Any difference in this? No. This one can go on however... Was just a plain pillow. The other one is got the pattern on it. So. so, of course, the fancy one with the pattern on it goes outside. Although, I have a feeling there's going to be more. Oh, let's take a look. Nope, that's going to be outside. Okay. Wondering where this was going to end up. Oh, okay. You're roasting the fish over the fire, roasting the catch, cooking the cooking the meal. Okay, all right. And we got some extras, as expected. I expected this was an extra, but there's also a couple transparent pieces. One of them, the candle, and then this little one by one uh, dark gray roof tile, or cheese wedge. If if that's how you prefer to refer to them. All right, set this aside for a moment. Oh, I just missed a, a couple other pieces, a couple other extras. Got a little light orange uh, leaf and then a brown one by one plate. Now for bag number two. together. Foliage stays together. I do like the fact that, you know, the chests haven't changed in 30 plus years. So, that's nice. That's one design element that they were fine with and kept. So, I'm glad about that.
I'm not afraid of change, but I prefer continuity. So, I much prefer it when things when things are the same because they work. So, I uh yeah. Yeah, I'll leave it at that. Okay, let's put him together. Yeah, come on. General, I think, is what he was. I believe he was a general. Go him and his sword. Okay. All right. Bring the main build back in. I'm gonna scoop these off the side somewhat so that you have. Yeah. There we go. You can still see what I'm working on. There you are, okay. sticker sheet without tearing, please. I mean, yes, I understand that putting these stickers on here pretty much means that I can't really use it for my Pathfinder when I get my gaming stuff. But, also, I, I want the set to be, you know, correct. I want it to be complete. And part of being complete is having the stickers on there. So, now that I know these pieces exist, I could, uh, I could go on to BrickLink or, you know, Lego.com itself and go into either the uh, uh, Pick a Brick or the Bricks and Pieces sections and uh, just buy new stuff. <laughs> of course, if I do that, it's going to be a while because i got to save up for something like that. This stuff is, as you know, Lego's not exactly cheap. And even when you're buying, you know, specific pieces that are individually inexpensive, when you buy, you know, 50 or 100 of them, yeah, the price adds up real quick. gotta be selective about what you're getting. Which means I just gotta wait. That and I also do want to go up to uh, the South Center Mall uh, up in Tukwila and see what they have on, on their pick-a-brick. See if they actually have a pick-a-brick that's uh, open-ish. Because if they do, well, I may be getting my first have cup. Have cup or two or three, depending on how much money I have at the time and what the pieces are. Because, yeah. 
If you're building mocks, give that pick a brick wall a look. One of the things I want to do is well, one, I should be paying more attention to the instructions because I missed a step. That's okay. It's an easy to fix one. But anyways, where was I? What was I saying? Pick a brick, mocks. Um, dang it! What was it? Anyways, the uh, yeah, pick a brick walls. Great place to get parts for mocks. Ow! Come on, go together. There we go. Okay. You go there. These going together. But yeah, I, uh, especially for a thing that I'm working up towards, uh, it's, uh, well, I mean, especially, you know, once I actually finally get around to really starting a Lego City, there's, uh, gonna definitely need to be, need to be hitting up, uh, pick a brick for parts. And I'm gonna go, whether it be pick a brick in the store or pick a brick online, uh, or uh, going to the uh, bricks and pieces section of the website to get stuff, or Bricklink, you know, I'll I'll compare prices and that kind of stuff because if you haven't figured it out by now. I generally don't like paying full price for something. If I can get it something at a discount, oh, you better believe I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get it that way. I have stood in line at Walmart customer service for quite a while before, just to ensure that I can get a cheaper. Walmart.com in-app price instead of the price on the shelf. So, because I want that, I want that discount. I, w I want that lower price. By all means, if you want to pay full price, go for it. I mean, I I, I do occasionally pay full full the uh, I do occasionally pay full price. After all, I paid full price for a uh, uh, 501st Clone Troopers set, but that's because you know it's brand new. Well, it was brand new, and it was the first time I saw it, and I wanted to make sure I got one. I do this. Let's go this side. Wipe that off. Yeah. Got another sticker. Sticker, sticker, sticker.
Aha. Yes, I'm being very careful with this. I don't want to tear it. Okay, now carefully hold that. Hold this slightly. Hold this slightly. Now. Very carefully jam this stuff in here. There's more space to work with over here. as crisp and straight as it shows but I'm okay with that as long as it's on there okay got ourselves another sticker it's a sparkly back sticker Which means there's a little sparkle to the front and you can't really see that you can't really see the sparkle that's okay goes up in there. That's it for bag number two. Oh, hold on. I just noticed. Where was that supposed to go? That is supposed to go. Right there in the backpack. This little green bottle. It was right here in the backpack. Okay. Get that out of the way. Got a couple extra gems and an extra pair of shears. Bag number three. The third and final bag. It has two smaller bags in it. This is new to me. 
this fishing rod. Uh, it's a different color scheme, but I do have a piece or two of that particular shape. I don't recall having these, any of these, so this is new to me. And there's only one in this set. That's okay. I could use a, a lot of these. Those will factor heavily in my mod once I finally have one. And this as well. These could come in handy. So, a lot of pieces in this set could be repurposed for my mop once I, you know, actually have one. But again, my mock is something that's still in the future. So, well, specifically my Lego City is still in the future. Partially because, well, I, I plan on it being a futuristic location. Oh, grab one hook. That's new to me. Uh, what was I? Oh yeah, the uh, my mock. It's uh, the my Lego City, I should say. My Lego City. It's uh, primarily going to be um, my personal vision of what the what a city in today's world could be. I'm also hearing about this thing called Mocktober. Uh, that's new to me, but I like the sound of it. So maybe that's when I will. Uh, maybe that's when I'll reveal and actually start working on what I've been hinting at. You know, it would make sense.
Yeah, it's kind of washed out color-wise. Okay. You connect. So. Connecting it. Why did I think it was done? <laughs> Nothing is done. Okay. Now, this little sticker is going to go on here. Exactly straight, but good enough for Justin work. Not exactly straight, but good enough for Justin work. Okay. All right. I hadn't I I hadn't put that together before. That's a bucket and a bucket handle. Okay. Cool. All right. Yes. I am. Pleased by this little discovery. This any little revelation. Because it's something I hadn't put together before, something I hadn't realized, something I hadn't noticed.
future. Goes on the swivel. Okay. This connects there to here. Okay. All right. Connects like that. For the runes, the magic of the runes. Doing it wrong. I didn't go there. Okay. Perhaps I should actually slow down and look at the instructions. Do you think that'd be a good idea? Yeah, me too. Might be a good idea. Might keep me from messing things up. It's a little warm in here right now. I uh, I don't have a fan on, and it's it's not a hot day, but it is for here a warmer day. So, <sighs> all right, now for sticker number two. Sticker number two. I sweat fairly easily, which is annoying, mostly to me. Sticker number three, excuse me. Sticker number four. No, not four. Sticker six. <sighs> they have things mislabeled. That 
that's okay. Thankfully, it's the last sticker, so, huh, huh, and it's kind of obvious as to what needs to go where. See if I can actually make this work. Ah, I was afraid of that. All right, but yeah, it's supposed to go sliding down because of the grappling hook. But yeah, and uh, let's take a look at the extra pieces from this one, unless I missed putting things in, which is always a possibility. But I'm not worried about it. Oh, and there were uh, there was an extra set of shears. I don't remember if I pointed that out from bag two. But anyways, these are the extra pieces. You know, one of these brown st uh, sticks, uh, transparent light blue stud, transparent light blue plate, uh, bottle top, gem, a couple fruits, a little tile, and then a bucket handle, as I now know that it is. But yeah, this is... Wait, nope, you stay. This is garbage. <laughs> Don't throw the instructions away, Justin. But yeah, Olaf, the general, colonel, commander, whatever, he, whatever his, his title was, I don't remember. It's, it's... Was it early this year? Was it early 2020 that Frozen 2 came out? Or was that late 2019? I honestly do not remember. But, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, the things that 2020 is causing, movie amnesia, almost, anyways, but yeah, that's, this has been uh, my build of the Lego Disney set 41164, let's get closer up of the instructions, so. Oh, and I don't think I've ever pointed this out. If you if you download, if you have a smartphone and you download the Lego Instructions app, I think that's just what you need to look up, uh, Lego Instructions, and you scan this QR code, you get a digital copy of that, uh, of these instructions uh, uh, in the app. And it should carry across devices. I'm not 100% sure on that, but it should. But yeah, this is the Enchanted Treehouse. It's 302 pieces. And I enjoyed this build. I don't plan on keeping it built for very long because it's I got this mostly for the various pieces that I can use and other things um, but it is nice this is a nice little set so and uh, yeah it's got several pieces that I can reuse and other stuff the tree bits uh, not the ones that have stickers on them but you know that's okay uh, there's there's other tree bits that I can use. Uh, I mean, there's foliage that I can use. There's these, you know, excuse me. There's these little trees. There's two of them. One on this, uh, one here. So I can uh, I can reuse the root uh, vine bits. I can reuse the ladders. Um, can definitely I can I could basically just put this entire thing in my game, just like as it is. You have found a rune circle. So, the circle of men here's. But, uh, I mean, I could, I could put this in as a, as a little something. So, remove this, of course. Or actually, no, not necessarily, of course. Heck, if I really wanted to, I could just, I could stick this entire thing in my game. It would actually work. It's a little big, but I could, you know, have it be for, like, moss trolls, which are... Technically medium size, I think, uh, but they're still bigger. But uh, but yeah, got this dude here whose name I don't remember and I don't see it on the box. Got Olaf. I want a hug. And you got Anna. 
So, but yeah, uh, if you enjoyed this, uh, well, number one, thank you for watching. But yeah, number one, thank you for watching. Um, and if you enjoyed this, uh, I would appreciate a, a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'd also like to hear any comments you have. Um, so, uh, do you? If you have this, what do you think of it? So, yeah, this was a fun build. I like this one. But uh, wish I could, wish I could get the top here a little more squared off. So, I mean. The set photo on the cover of the box kind of has it not 100% straight, but mine's still a little more bowed than that one is. So, but I do like the inclusion of a little spyglass up here. That is that is a nice little touch. So, yeah, yeah, this is nice. I like this one. All right. Uh, thank you very much. Have yourselves a wonderful day and um, do something good for yourself. Whatever it is, do something good for yourself. So, thank you very much and goodbye.